Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. So in today's session, we will see vectors in Prometheus with their examples. What are the different types of Prometheus vectors that is instant vector and the range vector. And uh, sorry, there is a typo. We will see the difference between instant and range vector in Prometheus. So let's go. What are vectors in Prometheus? In Prometheus, a vector is a fundamental concept used to represent sets of related time series. It's like a container holding multiple time series, each tracking a specific aspects of a matrix. In a simple sentence, a set of related time series is called a vector. All data is in a context of some timestamp. The series that maps a timestamp to record a data is called a time series. Types of vectors in Prometheus. So there are two main types of vectors in Prometheus. Let's see one by one. So here we will see first instant vector in Prometheus. An instant vector in Prometheus represents a set of time series, each containing a single data point with the same timestamp. This means it captures the current state of various matrix at a specific moment in time. So below are some key points about instant vector in Prometheus represent a single snapshot of data at a specific timestamp. Useful for monitoring current values like system stats, resource uses, etc. So the use case, these are uh, typically used for capturing the current state of metrics like system stats, resource uses, and uh, they often show the graphs with a static time range. For example, last five minutes graph you can see. They cannot show the trends over time. Use range vectors for that. So for uh, using the trends over the time, we will need to use the range vectors. You can directly select the metric name to get an instant vector. Use label selectors to filter specific type series within the vector. PromQL functions like count, min, max, this can be applied to instant vectors for aggregation. So here we will see the use of HTTP hyphen request hyphen total. So for that, I have already launched the EC2 server. With that, I have uh, using the SSH client, I have uh, set the Prometheus server with the all necessary services. So here we will just copy this Prometheus HTTP request total function from our reference article. And we will paste this in the official page of the Prometheus. And you have to click on the execute. Now you can see how many times the request for this portal is given. So here you can see the code 200 is shown. Now we will see the different aggregation functions in instant vector. So this function summarize an entire instant vector into a single value. So the count mean calculate the total number of series in the vector. Minimum means the minimum value across all series. Max means the maximum value across all series. And the average, this calculate the average value across all series. And sum, this returns the sum of all values across all series. STD dev is used for the standard deviation calculation. And the STD VAR is used for the calculating the population variance of values across all series. So the comparison operator in instant vector are as this. So you can see in this article and the arithmetic operator like plus minus star for the multiplication and slash for the uh, dividing. These are the operators used in the arithmetic. Now the label operate operations in instant vector. So the functions like label replace and label join modify the label sets of series within an instant vector. So there are different notable functions in instant vector. We will see they also, them also. Apps. This returns the absolute value of each element in the vector. Seal rounds each element up to the nearest integer. And the floor, it rounds each element down to the nearest integer. And then X, that is EXP, calculates the mathematical exponent of each element. And then ln is used for the natural logarithm of each element. So we have to keep remember in some points regarding the instant vector that are instant vector functions operate on the current snapshot of data for analyzing trends and changes over time. Use range vectors and functions like rate and increase. 
so we will see now the range vectors so range vector in prometheus represent a set of time series with a range of data points over time for each series so they are basically used to visualize trends calculate rates and perform aggregations over time so they show the trends and changes in matrix over time intervals they are use uh, the display of this vectors that is range vector is in the form of the graph with the specified time range and they can show and can be used with the functions like rate increase to analyze changes over time range vector query specify a time duration in square brackets both types of vectors can be filtered using label selectors so here i have taken the example of the prometheus http request total code 200 5 minute so basically this means that the rate is the calculates per second rate on increasing time series over a given time period and gives idea how fast something is changing then the http request total it track the total number of requests made to the prometheus and the code 200 it is a label selector it filters the http request to only those having status code of 200 which means the request is successful and the 5 minute is the time interval you can say the time range specifies the duration over which we want to calculate the rate so now we will copy this example and paste in the official page of the our prometheus server so let replace the previous command and hit the execute button so now you can see in graph graphical form also here the time range is provided and in the table form they have provided who uh, enter to your how many requests have provided to your http server now the average cpu usage in percentage from 0 to 100% for each node for the last 5 minutes the each we can see over here okay now below are some range vectors functions in prometheus so you can uh, refer this article like changes absent over time delta delay hold winters and now we will see the difference between instant and range vectors so the data points single data point at a specific time span in the instant vector and in the range vector multiple data points over a time interval we can see and uh, instant vector is used for the current state monitoring while the range vector is used for the trend analysis aggregation rate calculations then the charting in the instant vector is suitable for static time ranges for example last 5 minutes and in the range vector shows the data points over time then the display of the instant vector is static time range graphs and the uh, display of the range vector is time range graphs with the trends line now the prompt fuel functions like count mean and max these are used in the instant vector and in the range vector rate increase this kind of the prompt fuel functions are used so in this way we have seen what is the prometheus vectors what are their types and with the example how they work thank you